Hey guys and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and in today's video I'm going to give you guys an April 2020 check-in uh, for my no buy year. So if that sounds good to you, just keep on watching. So I feel like this content has kind of changed every month that I've done a check-in because I'm kind of trying to find my footing and, and figure out what works best for the content of this video. So I'm doing it a little bit differently this time as well. I'm going to tell you guys what was great about this month, what was not so good about this month, things that I have purchased and things that I'm getting rid of. Let's get right into it. First, I'm going to talk to you guys about the things that were going well this month. The one thing that I noticed this month was I am not scrolling on Poshmark anymore. I was doing that a lot in March. I was just like getting up not even leaving the bed uh, and just on my phone scrolling on Poshmark and I would just do that for like an hour before I'd even get out of bed so I haven't been doing that anymore uh, one scenario where I have been like fake shopping is I put together a cart for Everlane because I've been really interested in their products I've never bought anything from them and so I just decided to put everything that I liked from their line into a cart and then see how much it would cost spoiler alert it would cost $778 so crazy so I just kind of did it and then put it aside. But it was fun to kind of go on their website because they do have really cute things that I feel like work in my wardrobe. So it was fun, but I definitely wasn't like feeling anxious. I felt like in the beginning of this, I was feeling anxious going on any website to buy stuff. Like my mom would ask me to purchase stuff for her and I would be like, Ooh, this is a good deal. Like, should I get these shoes? And I would kind of have that twinge of guilt, and I definitely haven't felt like that this month. Uh, my mom had me buy her some stuff online again, and uh, I wasn't feeling that like twinge of guilt uh, for missing out on stuff. So I was pretty happy about that. I feel like my mindset is definitely changing. I'm definitely not thinking about shopping as much, but there's definitely a lot of stuff going on. So I think. I can't figure out if it's because of the current climate of America or if I'm reaching that point in my no buy where shopping is becoming less important in my daily life and my happiness. <laughs> so I know last month, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. I mentioned that I wanted to start selling and I was disappointed in myself that I hadn't started. Well, April, I did indeed start. I started making a pair of pants. They're kind of in the middle of being completed. I took a break because I don't know about you guys, whenever I make something, I end up hating it if I work too long on it where I'm just like trying to get it done and I just don't like it. Also, I don't have a zipper, so I'm like, why am I gonna finish this if I can't even wear them? So it's kind of on hold right now and I do plan on finishing it. Hopefully maybe I can finish it by May or June. They're not like too complicated, but I just want to make sure that when I am working on it, I'm excited about it because then they'll come out nice as opposed to just like, uh, I don't know. I've made so many projects that I'm just like, well, I just might as well get this done. And then I get like 95% done and it's not what I like. And I just, I see all the problems and I don't even want to wear them because I'm not happy. So the I'm taking my time and that's working for me. So this month I, I also really got into painting. I started painting. Uh, I've had a lot of art supplies for a really long time that I don't usually touch. Uh, the paints I used like one time last year and so I was like, you know what? I have all this paint. I have this time. So let me just get into it. And I've really gotten into it. I feel like I'm making things that I like, which is not something that I'm used to. Usually I have this thing where I'll like start it and it looks pretty and I just don't want to leave it alone. So I'll keep adding stuff and adding stuff until it's ugly. So I haven't had that. I've been like probably making 50% of stuff that I really like and I want to hang in my house and 50% of stuff that is just not cute. I have a watercolor paint set that's probably like 10 years old that is very seen better days. So I decided to spend a little money and get a better watercolor set, which I will talk to you guys about later on in the video about what I bought this month. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, maybe if you guys want in the next video, I can show you some of the things that I've made uh, in, included in the things that I bought and the things I've gotten rid of. Maybe I'll show you guys things that I've made. If you want to see that, uh, make sure you like this video. Uh, and then if not, I just will keep it to myself. So I'm really into um, watercolor. I have gouache. I have some uh, oil paints, which I haven't cracked open yet, but 
Uh, I definitely have been experimenting. Uh, I have colored pencils. Like I have all this art supplies that I just haven't touched. So this has kind of been an opportunity for me to open it up and just like play around. It, it doesn't feel like it's like a requirement. Like I felt when I was kind of doing art stuff in school or, you know, working on a project for work or whatever, it felt very like I, I all this pressure, like it needed to be perfect. And it's been really nice to just like paint and just have a good time and, and not have to worry about like if it's uh, like a masterpiece. It's just nice to like get the paints out and put colors that I like together and play with different shapes and different techniques and it's been a good time. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted on, on the art front <laughs> and maybe I'll post some images that I decided I liked on like Instagram or, or whatever. Another thing that I mentioned in my March video was my fitness routine and I've really kept up with it. I've been working out uh, six days a week for the entire month and I'm really happy that I've kept up with that. So the last fun thing that's been happening this month is I have started kind of daydreaming and visualizing and preparing for decorating our house. So when we moved in in February, we kind of just like threw our, st our stuff in and we were like, okay, we have to get this, that, and the other thing done before we can kind of decorate and jump in. And that's been fine, but I definitely have the time. So I'm pinning things and organizing my thoughts and really trying to figure out what I want for each room so that when we eventually are able to execute what we want for our home to look like. I want to be prepared, I want to be concise, and I don't want to just go in guns blazing or just like buying stuff to buy stuff. I feel like that's a mentality that I definitely had previously, obviously with clothes, but also, I mean, there was never a rhyme or reason for buying home decor in the past. With the, now that we're in our home, I definitely want to be thoughtful about the design aesthetic and the overall feeling of each room. And so I've been, <laughs> I have a Pinterest board of home decor and then within that home decor board, I have a section for each room in our house and I'm trying to <laughs> pick um, like furniture pieces and art prints and, and just kind of think carefully about where things should go and what would be the most functional use of each space. So that's kind of been like the fun new thing that I've been doing this month and I think I'm gonna continue on until I can actually start executing and decorating the spaces and I definitely wanna share that with you guys. So I am going to start filming that process of kind of what I, we started with and then how it ends up coming together. So if you wanna see that, make sure to uh, leave a comment down below. And if there's any home decor YouTubers that you guys really love, definitely let me know so I can check them out too. So now I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the things that were less fun this month. Obviously, the coronavirus is in full swing. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but back in March, I kind of figured it would be like, two weeks we'd all have to kind of stay inside and then we'd all be able to go back to work kind of like have like a little mini vacation and that was obviously not the case uh it's been probably it's been over a month since i've gone to my work and it's been really kind of taking a toll that i didn't expect so when I first started uh, in April, I was like getting dressed every day and putting on like a cute outfit. And, and then towards the end of April, it was like every other day I would kind of wear sweatpants or just not change out of my workout clothes. And I just like didn't, I was like, what's even the point, you know? And it was just like, I don't know. <laughs> it was having an effect on me and the fact that we weren't able to go outside and I wasn't able to see my family and I mean thank god I have my husband here if I was living by myself I feel like I would definitely spend a lot of time just I don't know trying to distract myself with Netflix and social media and all this stuff and I'm just glad that I have somebody I can actually like talk to instead of relying on like the screens of my life. I'm just, I just feel lucky and I know it's it's not the case for a lot of people and so if you're feeling sad and lonely, I just urge you to kind of call your friends and family and, and talk to them because that's also been really helpful. My parents and I probably Skype 
like every other day, if not every day. And I just stay in contact with everybody and try my best to make the best of the situation. I also feel like with this sort of event, I haven't really been in the mood to like do anything. I just want to like hang out and like occasionally I want to like, you know, bake something or or paint or whatever, but a lot of times I feel even overwhelmed just trying to keep the kitchen clean. You know, we're home all the time on a lot of dishes and you know, this is dusty and there's a lot of stuff here and a lot of stuff there. And so the, it gets a little bit overwhelming and I feel like I just wanna, when I, sometimes when I get overwhelmed, I don't wanna do anything. I just wanna avoid it altogether. And so I've definitely been feeling like that avoidance and I kind of have to bait myself into doing tasks. Like I have a, a like a to-do list and it's like, okay, from 10 to 10.30, you know, eat breakfast and, and watch a, a, an episode on Netflix and then, you know, work out for 30 minutes. And while you're working out, you can watch another episode of whatever. And then after you do that, you know, or, uh, organize this or put away that. So it's just like finding that balance of like, doing mindless things that let you forget what is happening around you and how you're feeling and doing things you actually need to do to function and get your apartment clean or whatever needs to be done done. All right, now that we've gotten through those feelings and emotions, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the things that I bought this month. This month, I have not bought any clothes or unnecessary makeup. So I have worn makeup a couple of times, but I have not bought a single lipstick. <sighs> That's still a thing that like gets me. I get a twinge, the Sephora sale was this month, everybody was posting stuff, and I was like, ooh. I have always wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, and I was just like, <sighs> I definitely love lipstick. And so it was, that was one thing that was kind of tough, was wanting to go to the store and, and get a lipstick. In fact, in the beginning of the month, I was like, Luke went to the store and I was like, if you wanna buy me lipstick? And he was like, okay, no. So this month we decided that we uh, were planning on uh, doing some home stuff. So we bought a dresser and a bed frame. I have been needing a new dresser for some time. I feel like I mentioned it even in like January that it was something that I wanted to get. And so I had been, and with my no buy rules, if you wanna see my full rules, I will link the no buy video down below. But for the home purchases, I've had a running list of my wish list for my home. And the dresser and the bed frame were both on there and it was a great deal and so we thought about it and we kind of crunched the numbers and we decided that we were gonna buy them. So we bought that and I'm really excited. <laughs> they haven't gotten it delivered yet but uh, I, I'm excited because we've had this <laughs> headboard that's not even attached to anything. It's just laying at the back of our bed and that our bed frame is on wheels and we just like are too lazy to lock them. So the, the bed frame just, it's just like a metal bed frame. It just like uh, like rolls around and the pillows fall behind and it's just like a bad time. So I'm just excited. <laughs> I'm excited to have like a real bed frame and a real headboard and then the, we got a dresser that matches and I'm excited for that because it's like a bunch of, it's a nine like small drawer dresser. I'll, I'll link the stuff that we got down below. It's the, this nine drawer dresser and uh, I don't need like five long dresser drawers. I just have like a, a, a lot of little stuff like a, a drawer for my socks and a drawer for my underwear and a drawer for my t-shirts and a drawer for my like leggings. Like I don't need like a, I don't have like a thousand t-shirts that I need a really long wide drawer for. I need a bunch of little girls. So I'm just excited because I feel like those types of dressers are really expensive and so I felt like and we wanted everything to be real wood. We wanted this to be these to be pieces that we have for a long time. So I feel like we ended up getting it for a good price and it's something that I feel like is classic and that we will get a lot of use out of. So 
I'm really excited for those and that was like the biggest purchase of the month. So I mentioned earlier in this video that I've been doing a lot of painting and so I was like, oh man, yeah, I wanna hang this stuff up. Okay, I need some either frames or canvases to like do this on so I can hang it up. So I ended up buying some frames that are bigger than eight by 10 just so I could take paper that is eight and a half by 11 and put it in there and just have it kind of be matted where you can kind of still see the edges of the paper. So I got a couple of those frames so it's kind of in the home decor side of my budget. And then I also got some uh, stretch canvases so I could paint on a larger canvas and then hang them up around my house. I'm really excited for that. I feel like it'll be really nice to just have like something totally unique and looks just like pretty. I don't know, I'm excited to kind of dive in. I also bought, like I said, a new watercolor set and it came with watercolor paper as well as paints and some paintbrushes. And this is this came with like really little watercolor paper, paper so I can kind of like test out and kind of pre-plan for something that I'm gonna probably put on the canvases. So that'll be nice. And then I also got just like regular watercolor paper. Finally, I ran out of eyeliner this month and so I, I didn't run out. I haven't used eyeliner in a really long time. I went to use my eyeliner that I had and I realized it was totally dried out and expired. So I threw that away and I ended up picking a new eyeliner up. I'm wearing it today. It's the NYX Ink Liner. And so far so good. It's definitely nice and black and the pigment goes all the way to the tip so far. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so far. And uh, if you guys want a review on that, happy to do it, but I'm not really like a beauty YouTuber, so uh, I'm sure there's plenty of re reviews on the internet. And if not, go on Amazon, they have a billion reviews on that product. Also, I'm wearing it today. I've been really into like trying a winged liner, so I'm wearing it today and I'm into it. it makes me feel like dressed up. I don't know what it is about a winged liner, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like dressy. Like I feel weird if I wear a winged liner with like a t-shirt, but like this outfit, I'm into it. So that's everything that I bought this month, like stuff wise. I bought like groceries and stuff, but that that's not fun. So this is all like the fun things that I bought. Uh, and now I'm gonna show you guys the things I'm getting rid of. So I'm just gonna, I have a bucket here. I'm just gonna pull things out of the bucket. The first thing is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed. Uh, this is, uh, was, I had hit pan on it and then the, re the remaining product just kind of turned into clumps. Like uh, it like broke basically. And so I'm not gonna open it cause it will literally go everywhere because it's literally clumps. And I tried to use it even while it was clumpy cause I'm like, well now it's just a loose powder but it was just going everywhere and the clumps were different sizes. So I would get like a big chunk of powder and then it was not cute. So I, I am getting, I got a new one before the quarantine cause I knew I was close to finishing it. And I am so happy I did. I don't know if you guys can see this, but so all the clumps are kind of around here and then they're in the main compartment and then this is the brush. And I really like this product. I did rebuy it. So I have it and yeah, I love this guy. I think it's like, oh, and I got the color translucent. Oh my God. It's, it's going everywhere. Oh God. So I'm, I'm happy with that product. It really does a nice job of setting my eyes. That's that. Next I have the L'Oreal Lumi, True Match Lumi Glotion. Luke makes fun of me every time he sees this. He's like, Glotion? Gotta make sure you're Glotion. This is like a kind of primer. It makes my skin feel really glowy. I wear it underneath my foundation. It's really hydrating. I feel like it kind of smooths out my pores. Uh, I got in the color light glow and I really like this product. This is probably like my third or fourth tube of this and I just, I really like it. I really like the end results and I will keep using it and I have already repurchased this as well. Uh, next I have a Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Stress Relief Hand Cream. Uh, I got this, God, don't even remember when I got this to be honest and I have been trying to treat my nails better. So I've been using nail oil and then putting on hand cream. And so I finished this one, nice smell, very uh, thick. Uh, it takes kind of a while to dry, but uh, I feel like it was definitely hydrating to my hands. Uh, nothing really special about this that would make me want to rebuy it. 
but it worked for what it was supposed to do. Next, I have the Morning Facial Moisturizing Lotion with Sunscreen for normal to dry skin compared to the Survey AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 30. Uh, this is from the brand Up and Up, it's that Target brand. Uh, I really liked this. This is like a lightweight morning, found morning foundation, morning moisturizer, and I love wearing sunscreen every day underneath my makeup. I think it's really important, so I really loved this. It lasted quite a while, and so I ended up getting a non-SPF moisturizer when I went to replace this, but I feel like I wish I had just gotten this again. I don't think this was there. Uh, I don't know if they changed the branding, or I don't even know if they still have the Up and Up brand, but I couldn't, I didn't see this one at my local Target, so I ended up buying something with that SPF, and honestly, that's fine because I haven't left the house in a month, but I would definitely buy this again next time I replace my moisturizer. I don't know if you guys can see, but the lipsticks that were in this box are now covered in powder from that one powder thing. Okay, next, uh, the final two things that I have here are two lipsticks. The first one is like a little Smashbox thing that I got in like a Sephora order a couple years ago or a, like a Macy's thing, like just like a free sample thing, maybe for my birthday or who knows, but it's like this very, very like blue toned magenta and these are just not my vibe. It's just not my color. I feel like the blue tone just like makes me look like I had a lot of makeup on. I don't know, even if I have nothing on except for this, I just don't like the way it looks on me. And then the other thing is this Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Bomb. This is in the shade Provocateur Femme Fatale. And it's just like this red, but I don't know. I don't know what I don't like about it, to be honest. It just feels like I have other kind of light reds that I like better. And honestly, the cap came off of this like the day after I bought it and got kind of all inside my bag that I was carrying and I panicked and I was like, I'm never carrying this around again. And so it just put a bad taste in my mouth. I have bad memories from this opening. So I'm just, and I, I think I've worn it. I, I haven't worn it since then. So I wore that one time, it opened my bag, and then I haven't worn it since. So I'm getting rid of it as well. All right, that's everything for my April check-in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that if you like these check-ins and you have any suggestions, make sure to leave them down below and give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss anything from me, make sure to subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.